don't let the old man Here's something you didn't know about Toby Keith's powerful performance of Don't Let the Old Man In at the 2023 People's Choice Country Awards. I was pretty weak that day, though. I was, uh, I got, I don't, I had been doing really, really good. And I went to dinner the night before and decided I would try to have a couple glasses of wine. And the next day, I was really down and it, it I shouldn't have done that, I guess. I didn't know, but. I got really sick. It's Billy Dukes, and there's so much from this interview that's new, including Toby's first reaction to being diagnosed with stomach cancer in late 2021, how he's feeling today, and perhaps most importantly, what his prognosis and treatment looks like tomorrow and next year. I'll give you a taste of that right now. I'm not going to let this, you know, define my rest of my life. Thumbs up this video if you love hearing that, and think about dropping Toby a note in the comments section. Thousands of fans were brought to tears watching Toby sing Don't Let the Old Man In this fall. If that was you too, you're going to love hearing what it took to get there. Real talk about this interview. Toby Keith talked to Taste of Country Nice host Evan Paul for nearly 20 minutes, answering every question he was asked with the kind of candor you just do not get. What do we need to do to get you into the Hall of Fame? Don't ask me. I don't know how that works. Uh, I didn't. Uh, they use the way you die, don't they? <laughs> don't, you have, <laughs> don't you have to be 85 to get in there? We've just pulled highlights as they relate to his cancer battle and the PCCA performance of Don't Let the Old Man In for this video. But you can hear the full unedited conversation at the Taste of Country Nights On Demand podcast, his plans for new music, his daughter Crystal's plans for new music, and what he really thinks about the Country Music Hall of Fame are all included. There are links in the description section for that, as well as links to see about tickets to Toby Keith's Las Vegas shows scheduled for December. Actually, I'm just going to drop a link to his website because he strongly hinted that a tour is coming in 2024. We've got a great plan together, and we're, we built a new set, and we're getting the trucks and buses fired up, and... Uh, we, our plan is to go forward. Don't let this stuff define our future. Let's go. Time codes are also in the description section, as is a link to the new Taste of Country store, which is the best way to support this channel. You can find this Dolly and Reba for President t-shirt there now, and there's plenty more to come next year. Big thank you in advance for considering that, and please also consider tapping subscribe if you appreciate this kind of original country music news, analysis, and interviews. All right, one more note here before I let Toby take over. You're going to see that Evan is talking to Toby from his car. That is not normal, but the timing made it so he could do it there or not at all, and you just don't turn down a chance to talk to a future Country Music Hall of Famer. All right, really hope you enjoy this conversation between Toby Keith and Evan Paul. You see me as someone that doesn't get scared by much. When you were diagnosed with cancer, did you get scared? I did, but... That's a bridge that you've never crossed before. And I just lost an acquaintance. We were playing golf in September of 21 up at the lake house. And my buddy had his college buddy in. And we're all playing golf, having a beer. My buddy goes, this guy never sleeps. And I didn't know him. I didn't know if he'd lost weight or had any. I, he just, it's the first time I ever met him. Played golf three days with a guy. He had to go play in a cash tournament at Vegas when he left there, got back to Oklahoma city. And about two weeks later, Lance called me and said, Hey, remember that guy you met up the lake. He goes, he, he's got like two weeks to live. He finally went in and got a checkup, eat up with cancer and sent him home. Lance went and seen him and he died like 10 days later. So a month later I get diagnosed. And a month after that, my son's uh, fiance, doesn't have a father and she asked him if I'd walk her down the aisle at my son's wedding and I'm going well if I'm like the last guy I ain't gonna make it so hell yeah I got scared all right hold that thought because what Toby said next might be the most inspiring thing you've heard all year inspiring is the key word here today Toby says he got thousands of texts emails and direct messages from people who were really moved to tears by his performance at the PCCAs just like he was I wrote it I was writing it Clint Eastwood inspired it, but it's like I was riding, Clint's 93, still plays golf every day. So when I wrote it, it was like, 
I didn't know those in the next few years that I was going to have to be looking those words square in the face, you know? And, and, uh, as much as they're words to live by when you're old, they're just as much words to live by when you're battling a, a fatal uh, type a disease that can be fatal, you know? So it's like, um, you know, I never knew, I never knew I was going to have to do that. So I think with me being out of the public's eye, COVID and fighting cancer two years and really not being uh, out there going, I, I'm in my 30th year and I'd never taken a year off. So now disappearing three years and then the word hitting the street and everybody knowing that I, what I was battling and then showing up at this deal and singing that song, it just spotlighted the moment and the song so much that when I hit the stage, it was like everybody was wanting to see what's left, you know, what's he got left. And so I had their attention and then you drop that heavy hitting song on them. And it was just a magical moment. Toby's next move is three shows in Las Vegas scheduled for December 10th, 11th, and 14th. We're going to come blazing. He says he'll play normal shows because he knows he can go three hours without getting tired. He did it twice in July. As for his cancer treatment, that's ongoing, but he revealed that he's off chemotherapy. I feel great today. Um, it takes a while. You have to be the captain of your own ship. And... Uh, Doctors in the medical world are just like any other profession, you know, and you've got yeah. a lot of people on these teams doing it and you just have to dig in and get everybody in the right place, get the right people and um, pray for the right results. And I, I finally got in in a spot where I'm really comfortable with it. And uh, um, everything's trending really well right now. Big thanks to Toby Keith for so much of his time and honesty. And don't worry, I didn't forget about that moment of inspiration that I promised earlier in this video. I'll ask you to subscribe one more time now before I let him close up. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for subscribing. But I ain't afraid anymore. Hell yeah. So now you're <laughs> back to not being scared of nothing. No. That's John Wayne, this, John Wayne, this son of a bitch.